What's up guys and welcome to the next episode of the crack a pack series today We are opening up a pack of gate crash uh, a set that I really enjoyed I think there's a lot of good stuff in here Especially for limited which is how we are going to be looking at this So basically what we're going to do is go through like this is our pack one in a draft Hopefully we find something interesting that would put us in the right direction And I can walk through this and actually go through it like I would be drafting it so Hopefully it gives you guys a little bit more value out of these. Um, that's sort of the goal behind it. Uh, but yeah, let's go right into it. There will be a few cards that I definitely skip over just because I don't think they're clearly first picks. Uh, Dutiful Thrall, definitely not first pick. Uh, Towering Thunderfist is a 4-4 four, four for 5. You can tap a white and it gains Vigilance until end of turn. Definitely between the two, it's a good aggressive card, though... Basilica Screecher is definitely going to be uh, in the running. So a 1-2 two for 2 with Flying and Extort. If you don't know what Extort means, as you cast a spell, you may pay white or black. If you do, each opponent loses one life and you gain that much life. Uh, Extort's definitely a great mechanic for limited because you basically sap damage from your opponent and you gain that to yourself, which means you're basically draining incidental damage all the time. So you deal a lot less damage with your creatures and you actually just have to play stuff to get that damage off. Um, the triggers also do stack, so if you have multiples of these, you can actually get a lot of damage in. Uh, Way of the Thief uh, basically gives a creature plus two, plus two, and unblockable if you control a gate uh, for four. Not good enough, I don't think. Uh, mugging, deal two damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn. Actually a great card for sure. I would definitely consider having this in the deck if I was in red. Uh, but I think the Screecher is just better. Uh, purge the Profane, two a white and a black. Target player, target opponent, excuse me, discards two cards and you gain two life. Um, it's basically like a late, late er, excuse me, Mind Rot. And I don't like Mind Rot even at three, so... <laughs> Uh, I don't think you gaining two life makes that worth it. Uh, forced adaptation. One green enchanted creature at the beginning of your upkeep put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. Definitely strong over the long game, but it definitely paints a target on whatever creature you attach this to. Uh, so likely uh, outcome is that it won't actually make it to the late game. That being said, there are definitely instances where that can happen, uh, which is super strong, but not as good as this creature. Uh, Keymaster Rogue, it is unblockable. It is a 3-2 for 4. When it enters the battlefield, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. You could actually get some cute interactions with that, but uh, definitely not good enough in my mind uh, over the, the creature. That being said, Cypher is in this, and the Rogue unblockable deck is quite strong, <coughs> uh, especially with some of these enchantments. Uh, Horror of the Dim, a 3-4 for, f for 5, excuse me. You can pay a blue and it gains Hexproof until end of turn. I actually really like this card just because it has built-in protection. Uh, so if they target it with anything, as long as you have a blue up, you can protect it, which is fantastic. That being said, I, again, I don't think it beats that Screecher. I know I'm valuing it highly, but it is a great card. Uh, Gil Scorn Ward. Enchanted Creature has protection from Multicolored. Just not good enough in my mind, not even in general for Limited. Uh, Gruel Key Rune. Uh, there's a whole cycle of these. They are fantastic and limited. Uh, they, for three, you get something that will basically add a red or a green to your mana pool. And then you can also pay a red and a green and it becomes a 3-2 red green beast artifact creature with trample until end of, end of turn. Excuse me. I really love these. Uh, that being said, I don't know if it beats this creature. We'll take a look in a second. Voidwalk. Uh, this features Cypher. It's a sorcery for four exile target creature. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And basically, Cypher means that if uh, you attach it to a creature, you choose a creature, and when it deals damage to a player, you actually get to copy this ability, which is fantastic, but definitely not good enough. Uh, Yerberus Protector for six. It's a 1-1 one -one that enters the battlefield. You put a 4-4 four -four white creature with flying onto the battlefield. Uh, strong? I don't know that I, I don't know. I, I consider that. Although that being said, uh, Treasury Thrall, a 4-4 four, four for 6 with Extort again. Uh, when it attacks, you may return target artifact, creature, or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. This is definitely my pick. Unless we have a foil, nope. So this is definitely the pick. Uh, having Extort is fantastic. It's also just a decent bomb. 4-4 uh, four, four is pretty good and limited and the recursion of it just makes it that much better. So definitely going to be my pick for this pack. 
guys, let me know if you agree or if you disagree, uh, if there's anything you felt like I missed. But yeah, this I think is pretty clearly the pick. Um, with that though, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for all of our content. But with that, we will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much.